Thank you, John. I really appreciate that. Well, I am out here at Tri-City Christian for the open Pacific League opener between Tri-City Christian Eagles and the Army-Navy Warriors. I am now joined with head coach Shane Goodwin. Now, Shane, can you tell me a little bit about what Tri-City means? Okay, so we're, first of all, we're, uh, there's three cities, Carlsbad, Vista, and Oceanside. So if you look in that direction, which obviously your cameras aren't going to do that, but over in that direction there, about two blocks is Carlsbad. We're actually in Vista. And if you go that way two blocks, you're in Oceanside. So we're in a perfect spot. It's like Tri-City Medical is right over there. So it's just pretty simple. We're three cities. Our school is built right where three cities are located. So you were telling me a little bit earlier about how the Eagles have a tougher schedule this year. Can you tell me why? Uh, well, I mean, uh, you know, a year ago we went to the championship game. And so when you, you know, like anybody else, you know, when you're trying to pick up games with teams your size not that they're fearful of us but they're trying to get games that they feel more confident they can win so when you're coming off a great season a lot of times the same level opponents if they don't have to play you they won't and so uh, the ones that are your size so we, we understood that and it was kind of difficult to pick up teams that were our size so the last three weeks you know we played division four opponents what are some of the teams that you played uh, so we played Central Union, who's an under 5-0 team right now. Uh, we played La Jolla Country Day, you know, last year's state runner-up, CIF champions. Uh, we played Coronado High School two weeks ago, uh, and they were, um, uh, two years ago, were CIF champions and, and state runner-up as well. So it's not a, like I said, it's not an easy, that's the same team, you know, we played them two weeks ago and we won 35 to nothing. The good news is, you know, two years ago, um, that's a team that beat us 40 to nothing, my, our first year here. So, yeah, I think we, we feel good about where we are. Tell me about some of the key players that stand out to you and you know that you can always go to. Um, you know, this year, uh, Roman Gonzalez has been the go-to guy. Of course, he was, you know, toward the end of the season last year, he was that guy for us. You know, if it was fourth and one, uh, you were more confident you could give the ball to him than the quarterback sneak or fourth and inches. You knew that Roman's a guy, and Roman's only about 145 pounds, but he's a boxer, he's a fighter, he's just, uh, he just gets after it. It's funny, he... Uh, he doesn't give up, doesn't quit, and he plays like he's 200 pounds. I don't think he knows how big he is. I think we're going to keep that a secret. And then real quick, what do the Eagles have to do tonight in order to win? Uh, well, I think, uh, one, we've got to be able to run the ball well. I think we've got to be disciplined in our option game. Uh, we, we've we've kind of merged into more of an option team. Last year we were shotgun option. We've gotten a lot more under center now. Uh, that's got to work. Um, we've, Zach's got to make better reads. Our quarterback's got to make smarter reads, smarter decisions. Uh, our kids have got to catch the ball when it's thrown to them and uh, secure the ball when it's thrown to them. So we can't, we can't make those mental errors. That's the big key. We've had a lot of mental errors in these big games. We get against teams bigger and, and you know, bigger and uh, really well-coached teams. I think our kids think they got to overcompensate and try to do more than they need to and just do the little things right. Just, just if we can do the fundamentals right, I think we can win. Well, good luck to you tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. Paul, I'll send it back to you at Otay Ranch.